the magnet is set. Are you ready? $929 is our target. This is not our final bull market target. This is the target out of this retracement where I actually said, get out of quant. This is where I sold my quant. This is where the Discord sold our quant. And we were, of course, reaccumulating here. But as you are aware, if you've been following along with some Twitter updates in the last day, if you've been following along with the YouTube comments over the past few months, and of course, if you were in the Discord community, then you know my private moves. I've made you guys aware in the comments over on Twitter in the last few weeks and days. And again, I did actually get out of quant. Now, all of you are going to now say, this means we're going to go up, but I didn't just sell quant. I sold quant over four months ago, letting everyone know in my private community instantly. I have nothing wrong with quant. I'll show you something from my Discord community right now. I posted it on Twitter yesterday because a lot of people on the Twitter are saying, guys, I need, it, I need you to give me serious advice. I saw a Twitter post and I said, I've got you. And I pretty much explained, look, I'm, and this is a post from my Discord community that I shared on Twitter yesterday. I'm going to read it out. I will make this very clear once and for all. I do not own any quant. I have never hidden this from the Discord community. When I sold, I let everyone know every single live stream since December. It was actually November, but every single live stream since December, I have mentioned I don't own quant. I do not hate quant because I sold it. Absolutely wrong. I do not hate quant whatsoever, guys. Please do understand that. I continue to say, I also don't have to hold quant to like the project or to believe in its bright future. The fact is, all my coins I currently hold will outperform quant. So for me, I view it like a waste of three years that I've been waiting, knowing in the last four months, which is almost half a year, this is when I wrote it, guys. Knowing in the last four months, which is almost half a year, quant is only up 5% and coins with a high market cap, such as HBAR, is up 7% just today. And this should speak volumes. That's when I wrote this post. Uh, and then I continue to say, I don't own HBAR either because I hold VET, which is the same market cap. So same expected gains. And I don't feel the need holding loads of coins doing the same results. It should really be self-explanatory. I support Quant in a different way by bringing daily content, helping the holders understand the daily moves of the asset they own. Same as HBAR, same as Bitcoin, same as XRP. I don't own these coins, but if I make TA on it, doesn't mean I have to own it. I like the projects. I just know to change your life, you need to let go to grow pretty much, simple as that. So long-term, Quant and the others that I just mentioned will perform. But again, out of this bull market, I've been waiting for three years. The last four months did nothing until literally the last few days. I'm trying to squeeze out as much as possible from the bull market. And that's just gonna happen from staying mostly away from the top 100 coins. So that is why I got out of Quant, guys. But I got out over four months ago, so I can't even get trolled. And you, got, you guys can't even say it went up because it literally didn't go up. It's going up now, but there are coins in the chat that we got into. For example, a Casper, for example, a Tech him and attacked him we got in at 50 million with the quant money and it went up to 30 dollars it's currently at 30 dollars in fact it nearly hit 50 dollars so a huge move we have other coins i just can't share because they're private for the discord but have moved 500 800 percent literally since we sold our quant and so that should just prove that you know i'm not here to marry a coin you know how many people are married to these coins why am i trying to find a wife if there's so many husbands already i'm just here to make money i believe in the project it's incredible that it's you know uk based as well i love that and all the fucking partnerships i shouldn't have sworn but all the partnerships are incredible barclays bank of international settlements i have nothing against quant i just realized you know four months back it's not doing it, so I don't want it. But guys, there are positives. If you've been following along with the channel, I have been bullish. Yes, I don't own it anymore, but that doesn't make me not like the coin equally. I hate Ethereum, but I need to use it to transact because a lot of cryptos are on the Ethereum network. But I hate Ethereum. I lost thousands and thousands of pounds due to Ethereum th fees when I sold my cryptos at the top of the last bull market. But I have to use it. Doesn't mean I support it. You know, it's the same for Quant. I don't need to be in it to like it. But 
I have been bullish if you've been following me for the last few months. We've been saying that this $87 low is super duper important for bullish continuation. And in fact, we also have been suggesting that it is $100 that we need to hold. This is the only level that truly matters, guys. I've been saying this the whole year. And none of you wanted to believe me when I said get out of quant when FTX capitulated. No one wants to believe me. I said it's game over. I was getting laughed at. I was calling head and shoulders and getting laughed at. Hmm. Yeah. But look, it is bullish. I've been calling for it to be bullish. It has got a huge weekly macro time frame inverse head and shoulders pattern that we're looking to break out. Even if you get rejected here, it's totally fine. We've done it already this week. We pulled back to 100. We instantly shot up yesterday. I've been calling for this, guys. What we now need to see is a breakthrough. 125, 130. We need it to flip into support this $130 area. And then we're going to head to 150, as I've been suggesting. And then on the break of 150, it's 200 to 228. And then what have I been saying? As long as $100 holds, we're going to the all-time high. I've been calling this daily in my videos for you guys that, you know, still hold it, of course. I'm going to support you still if you want me to carry on with the updates. Uh, but look over here. We're looking for a pullback and then continuation. To get to this target, we're going through the golden pocket. And when we go through the golden pocket, this is called the reversal wave, guys. And so when it is support, we're looking for the all-time high. We're going to pull back from there because, you know, we haven't been there for years. So don't expect to push through like butter. I'm going to pull back, whether it's to 300, whether it's closer to the 200 area, it's going to be around this uh, uh, area over here that will act as support. And then we'll push through and $900 will be our target. No, this is not my final bull market target. This is the target out of this huge move that I called all the way from $50 and told you to sell at $200. Why? Because we were touching head and shoulders previous neckline. I used this to call the bear market for you guys. Boom. I also told you to get back in at $50 or that I got back in myself. But then I sold over here. I was reaccumulating at 100 and I just got out at 100, simple as that. So we profited along this move up. We got out before we lost all the money. We accumulated again. We have taken no losses. We got out, got into Tectum, got into Trias. Well, I was already in Trias, uh, but Trias has gone up 10x. Tectum went up 300%. I have other crypts I just can't share, but went up 500%. Other ones went up 900%. Oh, I wish I... If you want to get in, I'll of course support you. But yeah, otherwise, you know, definitely look at the other altcoins on the channel. I've uh, Again, I, I shared Tectum. So research that 1.3 million transactions per second. That was one we've been in since early. It's still very early. It's under a billion. That's what we're interested in. We know that the top 100s are, yes, you, I did 45x on the top 100 last time. I want more than that. And so how are we going to do that? We stay away mostly. So I still have some, like four coins in the top 100. Uh, but yeah, other than that, no, everything else is past that point. So guys, again, we're looking for this breakout. We're looking for $900. And already today, I showed you the path uh, to heaven pretty much. So, And I've been bullish the whole time. I've been bullish the whole time at $100 when we bottomed out at 87. I've been bullish since then. I've been bullish on the reclaim of 100. I've been calling for the all-time high. I just don't need to be involved and I feel like all the opportunities are elsewhere and I've literally just been proven right. But hopefully today uh, that this uh, conversation that I've now had and shared with you guys that I have been out for a month. Um, hopefully this is the, you know, that signal that it is going to turn around like I have been calling. So that would be great for the holders. Uh, and then, yeah, honestly, best, best of luck to everyone involved. It looks like it's finally time. And that's why I made a post earlier today suggesting that if quant is bullish, oh my goodness, the rest of the market is so bullish. And you can see, and throughout the bear market, I was actually calling this a huge double bottom, which it looks like it will be in the end. Thank you so much for the continued support on the channel. And uh, yeah, appreciate all the patience with Quant over this time. Just need to bust through 130, flip it into support. And we're on our way to break the all-time high. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, join the Discord community. It's only $25 a month if you want that daily support, day and night. And those weekly live streams, all recorded as well, if you can't get into it. But we did call that Bitcoin bottom the other day. Very nice during the live stream, as well as other altcoins such as HBAR, VeChain, and of course, Tree. Uh, HBAR, VeChain. Oh, what was the other one? Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, uh, likes. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Cheers.